Have you ever done a science experiment and wondered what it'd be like if you did it big? I have. <laughs> My name is Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max, experiments at large. Structures are what we're building on this episode. Bridges, cups, pencils, blocks, boxes. They're all being built up and falling down. Plus, how stable can you make a structure using fruit as the base? Stay tuned to find out on this episode of Science Max Experiments at Large. Greeting Science Maximites, get your hard outs out because today we're gonna be building things. Like I always say, what's the point of science if you can't use it to build cool stuff? And today's episode is called Stable Structures. Now stables are the buildings where horses sleep. So stable structures means, I think I have the wrong kind of stable. Today, we are going to be building a gumdrop dome. And gumdrops are already kind of dome-shaped, but they don't hold a lot of weight. Uh, yeah, can't hold much weight. But you can make it hold a lot of weight if you build a geodesic dome. A geodesic dome means a round shape made out of straight lines, and that's what I've made here. All I used is gumdrops and toothpicks. It's very easy to make, and I'll show you how to do it. First, you need to start with a pentagon, a five-sided figure. One, two, three, four, five. And then stick them all together, obviously, with toothpicks. Then what you want to do is you want to start making triangles. So you stick a toothpick in here and a toothpick in here, and then you put a gumdrop at the top of this triangle, just like this. And then you make another triangle here and here and here, and it becomes a whole bunch of triangles, you see? Easy to make as long as you start with a pentagon on the bottom. Now, once you've built one, I suggest you build two more because then you will have a stable base and you can see just how much weight these hold. Mm. Yeah. You want to you want to max it out? Okay. Let's max it out. Oh! Oh, a little collapsing. But still not bad for gumdrops, right? So there you go. The geodesic dome. That's what you research if you want to learn how to build one of these for yourself. But now, let's max this out even more. Okay, now I just need an expert to help me out. Do you like my new interface? It's good, right? Watch this. Hey, we, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not, okay. Uh, wait, no, that's not the right gesture for that. But there's, it's all gesture based, so I gotta, uh, this? Nope, uh, this, nope. That? Ooh, okay. Um, expert. I want experts. Oh, 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 okay. It's voice activated. Great. Uh, oh, Sarah from Mad Science. She'd be perfect for this. Good. Close. 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 I can leave it running. Sarah? Mad Science, great to see you. Thank you, great to be here. I like your lab coat, it's a really nice color. <laughs> Wait a minute, it's supposed to be yellow. I must have changed to orange in the portal. That's okay because I, this is not the first time that's happened, so I've installed a little uh, secret thing on the app that allowed me to get a new one from storage. Oh, Watch perfect. this. Huh, didn't work. Oh well, I'll get another one later. All right, <laughs> anyway, we are going to max out the geodesic dome. Amazing, that's so cool. Yeah, so we just want to make it bigger. So how do we do okay. that? Okay, well, there's a couple ways we could do that. Um, we could add a few more points of connection, change the shape of it, make mm -hmm. it a little more complex so it's a little bit bigger. Mm. Or we can use the design right now and use different materials to make it bigger. Ah, okay, well, you know what? I think we should do both of those things. Okay. I think we should make it more complex and bigger, but why don't we start with bigger? Okay. But we'll use the simple, the simple design right here, and we'll just get like long wooden poles instead of toothpicks. Perfect, yeah, and then um, 
What will we use for the gumdrop? I guess we can't get big gumdrops, huh? No, I don't think so. Um, what about um, oranges? Huh? Ah, yeah, oranges could work. Maybe, yeah, because yeah. you could stick the poles in and then the oranges will be, okay. Yeah. Let's we'll go to the Science Max Fruit Market and we'll get some oranges. Perfect. And I'll get a yellow lab coat. I don't know why that didn't work. Is this a maxed out number of oranges? I think so. It's, or is it just a medium doubt number? We don't really need many <laughs> more oranges than this. No. So, uh, there we go. So we got our oranges. Those are going to be our gumdrops and... These wooden dowels will be our toothpicks. We just have to start with a pentagon, yes. right? Five sides. So why don't we just lay that out and see what Perfect. it looks like here. We start building this dome the same as the gumdrop dome. So, like this. We stick the dowels into the oranges to make our five-sided pentagon. Good. Like that. And then we go up from there by making a few triangles and sticking the oranges on the tops. Oh. But because the oranges are heavy, the triangles are pretty wobbly. That is, until we get them all connected with cross pieces. Yeah. After that, it seems to hold up pretty well. Okay, let's see if it holds it up. Whoa! <laughs> That's exciting. That is very exciting. <laughs> Uh, let's do the same thing. So you make a triangle here, I'll make a triangle there, okay. and then we'll connect them. Sounds good. Two layers, orange okay. dome. I'm pretty excited about this. This is nice. Yeah. I'm surprised that the oranges actually hold it together because mm -hmm. oranges aren't really that strong. No, exactly. But the structure itself is really strong based on the design of it. Yeah, because it's it's all about the shapes, right? Exactly. And we're using lots of triangles today, which are one of the strongest shapes on Earth. Ooh, strong. Well, then making something out of a lot of triangles makes it really strong. Exactly. Yeah. OK, so let's make that top layer of right. things. We only need one more orange. Yeah. This will be the one, top layer. Right in the middle. One orange on top with five dowels from each point and... Yeah! So good! <laughs> orange juice high five. In fact, it worked so well, there's only one thing left to do. Hmm, is there a way that we can maybe max it out even more? Watermelon? Watermelon. watermelon. We yeah. could get the round watermelons. You ever yeah. seen those? They're like the size of a bowling ball or yeah. smaller, a little bit smaller? That's perfect. And they're nice and full inside, so they should be able to hold the uh, posts into place. Okay, we'll try it one more time with watermelon. Inside dome, high five. Yeah! You may have heard of cup stacking, and if not, you're missing out because not only is it fun, but it's something that kids are the world record holders at. And it's all about, you guessed it, stacking cups. Now, I have learned the pattern, but I'm not super fast at it. The world record is actually four seconds, and this is what that looks like. but you can't use camera tricks to help you. You have to practice to get faster. Now, you don't need to use official sports stacking cups, but if you don't know your science, some things will work against you. First of all, these cups have holes in the bottom, which makes them not very good as, you know, cups. Why do they have holes in the bottom? Because of science. You see, when you pull the cups apart, there is air that needs to get inside this cup. If you don't have a hole, like these ones, the air makes them stick together because there's nowhere for the air to get in except for underneath, and they will stick. Once again, let's compare. Also, you want the cups to have some weight because if they have some weight, they'll fall out of each other easily. If they don't have any weight, like, say, these styrofoam cups, it becomes very difficult. And <sighs> cup stacking with trash cans. OK, here we go. Even though these trash cans were heavy, they didn't have holes in the bottom, which means they stuck together. A lot. So why didn't I drill holes in the bottom of these trash cans? OK. And then... Well, I needed them in episode six to make 11 barrels of slime. Uh, OK. Two. But 
I eventually did it. And time. Okay, there you go. The world record in trash can stacking. I know it's, it doesn't seem very fast, but first of all, that was hard. And second of all, I am the only one to do it. So therefore, I hold the record. Sarah and I have already made a great dome out of oranges. Now we're maxing it out even more, but this time using... Watermelons! Watermelons! But not the giant watermelons, nope. the perfect spherical watermelons. They'll have to do pretty good to be better than the oranges. Definitely. All right, so we just do it the same way? Same way. All right. Let's do it. I'm sure I'm not telling you something you don't know when I say watermelons aren't great for building structures. It's super wobbly. But the fact that we can make a structure using watermelons just proves how amazingly strong a geodesic dome really is. Have we done it? Yeah. We've done it! Yeah, watermelon dome! All right, we've got our gumdrop dome. We've got our orange dome. And we've got our, our watermelon dome. dome. Those, these are awesome maxed out domes. What do we want to do to max it out even further? I think the watermelons were a little too heavy. Maybe we should go back to something lighter. Uh, so we can make it out of gumdrops, which will be yeah. like more complex. Exactly. And we won't get orange juice raining on our heads all day, yep. which is what happens with this one. Max Historica. This is Leonardo da Vinci. Ciao. One of the greatest inventors to ever live. And this is a pile of wood. One of the greatest piles of wood to ever be piled. Now, Leonardo is going to construct a bridge out of this wood. This is Leonardo's hammer. One of the worst hammers in the history of hammers. Now, Leonardo must construct his bridge using no tools at all. N no, that hasn't been invented yet. How will Leonardo construct a bridge using no tools at all? Well, he is one of the greatest scientific minds. <laughs> oh, um, one of the greatest scientific minds in history. <gasps> oh, each piece of wood is supported by another. And that's what's known as Leonardo da Vinci's self supporting bridge. Leonardo's done it. But there is a flaw in the bridge. It's very strong when you apply downward force, but not so strong when you push on it sideways. Fortunately, Leonardo can devote his great mind to figuring out how to clean up his workshop. Ha-ha! <laughs> Join me, one of the greatest narrators in the history of narration, next time on More Max Historica. Let's recap. Sarah and I have maxed out our simple geodesic dome, but now it's time to make it even more maxed out. We need to increase how complex our structure is. So right over here, we actually have a dome that's just made out of triangles. Ooh, look it, it's nothing but, there's triangle there, there's triangle there, triangle there, triangle. So all triangles. All triangles. And see how much bigger it is even compared to our first one? Yeah. And that's just by adding more points. Over here, we have one that uses pentagons and triangles. Ooh, let me see, okay, so we got, uh, Oh, there's a pentagon there. Yep. There's a pentagon there. And then we got triangles here. Yep. Um, can we go bigger than this? Because this is good, but this is still not, this is not maxed out enough. Sarah had the idea of lengthening the poles. Chish kebab skewers, I love those. I use those all the time in my science experiments. And making a bunch of pieces that fit together. So we just make a whole bunch more of these. Yep. And then we'll make some sort of big dome. <laughs> this is awesome. So we maxed it out and it worked great but gumdrops started to become a little hard to work with. Every time I do one attachment, Ooh. another one comes apart. So I had to get inside to hold it up with my head. Hmm. I think I've got an idea. Oh, I'll yeah? Be right back, yeah. Oh. Okay, but should I get out or, or should I? It's okay, I can stay in. I could just keep fixing while it, it's collapsing a bit, but it's okay. Wait, this is inside. No, this is outside. Wait, hold on. Help, Sarah? Oh. Hey, oh, my. It kind of collapsed a little bit. Gumdrops, they just don't have the strength. Exactly. I was thinking we could use something a little more sturdy, maybe like some cardboard. 
Oh, yeah, and it doesn't move at all. We can totally make this. We'll max this out. I, I'll just put this over here. Okay, <laughs> fair right. enough. <laughs> If you want to build a block tower, you might think the fastest way to do it is just by building a single stack of blocks. But science may have a few things to say about that, and those things would be no. Let's try it with books. The books are much wider than the blocks, so that will give me a wider base, right? But it's all about the center of mass. You compare how wide it is to how tall it is. Right now, it's pretty wide and it's not that tall, so the center of mass might be around here. But if you go high enough, how high it is compared to how wide it is changes a lot. It's getting higher, but not any wider. The center of mass is probably uh, right around there somewhere, which means it's gonna be really hard to balance that. Whoa, care careful, almost. I can do a little bit more, I bet. Oh, careful, careful. Whoa. It'll only get so tall. So there you go. You can never stack a single stack of anything very high. But just in case you don't believe me, let's max it out. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, careful. Now it's time to see how high, whoa, whoa, how high I can make a single stack of boxes. Okay, and it, whoa, six boxes, six boxes, six boxes, whoa. Can he go as high as 12? Let us find out if I can go as high. Apparently not. Can he go as high as 11? Can he go as high as 11 boxes? Let's find out. Oh, careful. 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 And... Ha-ha! A single stack of boxes! Huh. Okay, well, like I said, you can't stack a single stack of things too high, because it will, it will fall. Ha-ha! Science! 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 This is a pencil. You probably have one of these at home and use it for all kinds of interesting things like writing and drawing, and that may be it. But if you have a lot of pencils, you can build stuff. I'll show you some of my favorite pencil builds. Check this out. It's a pencil cube. If you want to try building one yourself, you build it like this. Get a piece of foam and then lay out 11 pencils this way, and then another 11 that way, so they make a nice square. Then take sharpened pencils and stick them into the foam in all the gaps. Go all the way around, and then keep adding more layers of pencils, and eventually you will have a cube. Now, if you don't have 366 pencils at home, you can do the same thing with toothpicks. Now, if you want to research this on your own to find the instructions, just try looking up pencil cube. Okay, that's not the only thing we can build with pencils. Check this out, a pencil asterisk. Phil, can you max it out and add some more pencils? Yeah, so I did. I maxed it out with even more pencils. And then I thought, well, could I max it out again? So I did. This is what it looks like with even more pencils. And in fact, I removed the inside pencils and the whole thing still stays together. And then of course, this is the maximum number of pencils you can do with this configuration because as you can see, it starts to become a sphere and you kind of run out of pencil length. There you go, maxed out pencil structures. Of course, I've used all of my pencils, but that's okay, I will buy some more. I will just write myself a note to buy more. Actually, there are sharpened pencils on the bottom of my pencil cube, so I'll just, I'll just, I'll just write this note with the pencil cube. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, ready? One, two, three. And it's still standing! Oh, that one's not sharpened. Oh, here we go. Where'd my book go? Sarah and I have maxed out a geodesic dome out of gumdrops, oranges, watermelons, and more gumdrops. But now we're making one using glue and cardboard circles. Are those the same distance? After a bunch of time assembling and gluing, 
We have a giant maxed out dome. Okay. There? Are we done? I think so. We're done? Yeah! Yeah! Max out dome! How many points do we have? Oh, so many. Can you do you think we can lift it? I think so. I think so. that's yeah. the top. Try it. See. Okay, whoa. Whoa! Wait, 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 we can spin it! It was really light and also really strong. Strong enough to hold upside down. As a fruit bowl, it'd be pretty good. This is so strong. I'm surprised at how strong this structure is. There you go, Science Max, experiments at large, geodesic dome, and now it's sort of a geodesic disco ball. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Whoa, 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 okay, careful. <laughs> no. Careful, careful. All right, putting it down, putting it down. <laughs> okay, so, right, I mean, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna support. <laughs> So many pencils. I have more pencils than anyone really needs. Thank you for